That should work. Okay, this is me at the age of 20 and a half, and this is how I looked for most of my life. And then this is me at age 21. I disappeared for six months and went from weighing 155 pounds to 190. I went from $25,000 in student loans to being completely debt-free. And today I wanna to tell you what happened during those six months, what were the steps that I took, and then the sad reason for why most people won't make this kind of change in their life. Oh, and then I have a super cool announcement at the end of the video, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Okay, let me begin by telling you how my life used to be. So my whole life, I was a very insecure person. I always wanted other people to like me, and when they didn't like me, my whole self-worth took a nosedive. I let people walk all over me, and I spent a lot of my effort just trying to manage how other people perceived me. So if any of that sounds like something you've struggled with, then make sure you keep watching. And if that doesn't sound like something you've struggled with, then you're a liar. <laughs> so let me set the stage. It was August of 2019. I was preparing for my last semester at college. I had just broken up with my ex. I was working at a fast food restaurant and I just remember feeling completely purposeless. Every day was the exact same thing. I woke up, I went to work, I worked for eight to 12 hours, became completely exhausted, would go home, fall asleep, then wake up the next day and do that over and over again for six days a week. At this point in my life, I was also very alone. I had been living in my apartment by myself because because my roommates went home over the summer break, uh, so I had been alone for months. And at that point in my life, I, I absolutely hated being alone. But it ended up being the absolute best thing for me because I was isolated. It was just me and my problems, and there was no getting away from my problems. So in this season of my life, everything that I hated about myself was now front and center. Every single day, I was crying. I, I'd get off work, I'd come home, I'd hit my knees and I would just cry and I would pray and I was like, God, what, what is going on? I was so tired of being lonely. I was so tired of being insecure and just so tired feeling like I was meant to be doing more with my life. But it was at this incredibly low and depressing dark place where I realized I had two choices. Choice number one, I could feel sorry for myself. I could be upset that my parents couldn't pay for all of my college like most of my friends had. I could be mad about my skinny genetics. I could be mad at my biological father for not having a place in my life. And you know, maybe if he did, maybe I would have turned out differently. I could find other people or just some system to blame all of my problems on. Or there was option two. I could embrace that my life and everything that I could become were completely up to me. Okay, there are two types of people in this world. There are those who are going to conquer life and there are those who are always gonna feel conquered by life. Now, the only difference between these two people is that those who feel conquered by life struggle to realize that they are the root of all of their problems. Not a government system, not genetics, not society, just them, just you. Now, with all that said, I realized that I was the root of all of my problems. So, I took responsibility for my life. During these six months, I decided to cut out everything that was not positively impacting me or in some way contributing to my growth. So social media had to go. Phone calls with people who are not adding my life, they had to go. Hanging out with people who are not contributing to my growth, people who are not growing themselves, that had to go. Because you become the average of the people you hang out with, okay? And I was like, man, uh, I, I can't have people tank in my average at a time like this, okay? You need to be picky with the company you keep. Now, during these six months, it was really three big areas in my life that I thought were not where they needed to be, and these were the areas that I was gonna tackle. Number one were my insecurities and just my overall mindset towards life. Number two was my physique because I just, I felt so skinny and frail and weak. And then number three were my finances because I didn't want to be in debt. So I created some goals and then aggressively started working on these areas of my life. Okay, but listen up. There is nothing special about six months, but there is something special and really powerful when you take an allotment of time in your life and say, during this time, I'm eliminating distractions and I'm just gonna work on me. My six months were very, very hard. Uh, I genuinely broke myself down completely. I think this quote accurately describes the realization that I had when I was going into these six months of working on myself. When it is obvious that the goals cannot be reached, don't adjust the goals, adjust the action steps. So to put it more simply, if your current lifestyle is not reaching your goals, change your lifestyle. That's what I did. Yeah. I think it worked. I came out of those six months completely debt-free and with like maybe $6,000 saved, which for me was a lot. I came out of those six months with 40 pounds of muscle gained. And I came out of those six months just so much more sure about myself as a human being. Okay, so here is what I want you to get out of this video. Blaming other people for your problems 
feels good. It makes you feel like you're not the reason that your life sucks. And it's a great excuse to never try anything hard and difficult in your life because you believe you're gonna fail anyway. You believe the cards are stacked against you and there's nothing you can do about it. But there's an issue with that. If everyone else was actually the reason why your life sucks, that means that everyone else is in control of your life and not you. That means that your success and your failure are completely out of your hands and that you have no say in it. Is that a life that you want to live? I doubt it. <laughs> but here's the crazy thing. If you believe that your success is completely out of your control, then you will be right. And then on the flip side, if you believe that you are the only one responsible for your own success, you will also be right. Your brain will affirm what you believe about yourself and what you think about yourself. So you have to be careful how you think. So what do you believe about yourself? Is your life heading in the direction that you want? No? Then do something about it. Adjust your action steps. Now maybe you don't need six months uh, or maybe you need a whole year. The point is, is that there is never a bad time to start adjusting your action steps and start building towards the life that you want. So basically to sum up this whole video in like one sentence, I think it would be, if your life sucks, it's your fault. <laughs> but you can do something about it. And that's where my exciting announcement comes in. My six month journey was a very, very lonely time. But going through that season completely by myself taught me how important it is to be surrounding yourself with like-minded individuals. Having people around you who are going through the same stuff is just motivating, it's inspiring, and it genuinely helps you get to your goals faster. So with that said, I am so excited to announce that we are officially launching our community Discord server. There were a lot of points in my journey where I desperately needed community, and I didn't have it. So now we're gonna build it for everyone. So our Discord server is filled with different channels for different purposes. We have, of course, the community channel, then we have our progress reports channel, we have our prayer request channel, our daily motivation channel, and it's just been the most exciting and cool thing for me ever. We already have a small group of people in there and we've just been talking every day and interacting and challenging each other and it's been so, so cool. So if this sounds like something that you wanna be a part of, then I wanna see you there on the Discord server. However, spots are limited because we wanna keep the community tight and we don't want people in the group Group unless they want to be there. So check out the link in the description if you want to pursue the best version of yourself, but you don't want to do it alone. Now, speaking of pursuing the best versions of ourselves, I think you might enjoy this video. It talks about practical tips that you can use to actually make progress towards the goals that you have. And these are also all techniques that I've personally used in my own life. Anyway, thanks so much for watching guys, and I'll see you next week.